Hi, Rajni. Just a second. Okay. Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, not that much good. Yeah, what I've happened? Been, since yesterday, I have been suffering from severe headache. Severe headache. Okay, no, your uh, volume is a little low. Uh, can you move a little closer to the device? Or if you have headphones, try to plug it in a bit better. Hello. Can you can you hear me now properly? Yes, yes. This is much better. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what happened? You have a headache? Yes, since yesterday. That's okay. why I, the day hasn't started in a good way. <laughs> I hope that you feel much better at least by the end of the session. Are you taking your medicines? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, okay. So I think this is going to be a pretty low key weekend for you. Uh, yeah. Hmm. All right. Okay, Rajni. So in between, if you need any break or uh, anything at all, do let me know. Don't hesitate. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. Great. So what happened? Uh, did you uh, like stay up till late in the night yesterday or uh, was there anything that happened which gave you a headache? Yes, something uh, happened. Like mm -hmm. it's not I woke up late in the night, but before uh, dinner, I was taking a session like that was not a session. That was a kind of a seminar I have attended and uh, mm -hmm. In that I guess that was recorded session. I don't. I'm not sure about it, but they were claiming that it was live and all that. So the person was speaking continuously for 45 minutes, and it was like kind of. A, I the the sound was not good to me, and because of that, I guess I got the headache. And after that, I thought uh, in after dinner, I thought like after taking some rest and a good sleep i will be okay. but in the morning when i woke up i had i was still suffering from the severe pain then i after taking breakfast i took medicine okay uh, so i think today it would really help if you stay away from your mobile device or your laptop at least for a day you should go on a digital detox completely so hopefully that's going to make you feel a little better Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right. So uh, would you like to talk about the session material or do you have anything else on your mind that you want to discuss with me today? Anything that you like, because I don't have anything right now in my mind. Whatever you like, you can discuss. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so in India, we say that we have unity in diversity. Correct. Yes. So what is your opinion about this? Why do you think yeah. say that there is unity in diversity? What diversity are we talking about? In India, I think uh, like uh, we have diversity in each and everything like languages, culture, custom, and then clothing. So, but you know, the thing is like in India, every single uh, state or every person accept the differentiation of every state the languages and everything that's why the because of the even though there is a diversity we are in a unity because we accept and we respect of, uh, one another one another's culture and uh, religion and languages and everything yeah. right absolutely that's so true uh, so india is also rightfully called a subcontinent uh, so it's the home to so many different languages and cultures despite being one country right so i think it's despite nothing short of uh, yeah, it's nothing short of a miracle that all of us are coexisting despite our differences. Yeah. So and even I think this, this is the beauty of India. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True that. Uh, a lot of foreigners who visit India are always surprised uh, by this. Every state they go, yeah. they try to they experience different food, different language, different attires. Everything is so diverse, right? But um, in our hearts, we are all still Indians. That's what we like to address ourselves as, right? So that's yeah. pretty cool. Okay. And is there any particular state in India that you would like to explore more? Mm, I think we talked about in the previous session also that is Kerala, 
and uh, oh yes I yes play, yes um i have seen you know chennai express movie i guess that is i guess cable like there i don't know southern part of india uh, which okay. i like to very much and the culture yes i think we discussed this in great detail in the last class so you have some sort of connection with south india so you must come yes 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 okay. <laughs> so now we see there is an amalgamation of our traditions with western ideas too right um if you take our example and even the younger generation uh, we are heavily influenced by the west their lifestyle their culture so do you think it is a good thing uh, that globalization is somehow good or do you feel this amalgamation or confluence of cultures can be a uh, problematic for the indian culture what do you feel about Mm, it is, I think, a tough question for me. Uh, it is good, like globalization is good in my opinion. But at the same time, we should always keep uh, connected to our roots, which you know, which is our uh, identity. Like India has its own identity, which is the different cultures and the you know we learn everything from Bhagavad Gita, Mahabharata, and all. about family about culture about livelihood everything so okay. and uh, i don't think so this is uh, like totally ignored people still feel connected and there that is in their blood still even though uh, in modern india even though youngsters also feel connected uh, i know many people who are living outside the country like especially who are living in south korea they always miss their family and uh, friends when there is a particular festival especially you know i have seen people who are from uh, bihar jharkhand on mm-hmm. chhat festival especially they cry a lot because they miss those three days they you know we celebrate entirely even youngsters also participate fully they are wearing kurtas and every boy wears the long kurta and then the going there and are uh, waking up early in the morning and then you know uh, cooking all the different uh, delicious food and everything so i yeah. think this even though we are living outside the country still the culture yeah. the tradition remains in our blood correct absolutely so i think festivals are a mark of that um, no matter where your family is scattered when if there is a festival it's an occasion for everyone to you know come together and celebrate make memories so yeah festivals are a big part of indian culture it cannot be denied yes. at all so, the, the best part is like after the second day after the particular festival we go yes. to each other's home we mm-hmm. you know take blessings from our elders and they just give some money presents and they give blessings even though if uh, two family in two family if they are not talking to each other still they go on the second day after the festival and they talk to each other they meet and they you know share ideas even they cook food for the other people also and even in rural area especially what i like about festival you know when there is a home or a particular family who are not celebrating a particular festival we cook yes. a delicious food for them we consider like okay we have to take care of this family too so yes. this is like i think good good thing about i have seen it in rural india i don't know about urban but yeah yes so i think uh, we strongly believe in this concept of the more the merrier <laughs> so we don't really yeah. consider it a big problem uh, if guests arrive unannounced so it's not a big deal um i have noticed that in american weddings etc uh, when the invitations are given uh, you can bring only limited amount of guests with you so in india when you're inviting somebody you invite their whole family right please come with your whole family there uh, if somebody invites you to a wedding if you get that plus one permission only then you can bring somebody otherwise without the host's permission if you bring anybody it's considered rude so yeah but i think in india we don't have that like bring everyone we'll have fun the whole family is there we feel more joyful okay yeah they all are coming here and we celebrate even more yeah in india it's just one person that's coming from a family that's considered offensive they're like where's the rest of your family where are your parents i have the not yeah. come where is your brother where are your sisters so yeah very different no yeah true that okay so uh, do you watch uh, international shows on netflix amazon 
do you like watching it sometimes not much sometimes okay but you have a little bit of exposure to some international shows sitcoms comedy shows uh, thrillers have you watched anything shows no i haven't watched shows so, no. okay so even if you have a bit of exposure also that works have you heard of any practice in a different culture that seemed like a cultural shock to you like as an indian you just couldn't wrap your head around it it was like a cultural shock i can talk about even south korea's culture there is a culture sure. of you know uh, in india if someone you know start drinking at early age we mm-hmm. look uh, something bad you know but yeah in, it's not down of right yeah but south mm-hmm. korea the first drink always the kid have with uh, has with her uh, with his own father like his father introduced the drink and then the first drink they all their father and after that they celebrate they always have drink with other uh, friends and second thing also they celebrate the divorce mm mm-hmm. the divorce like, they celebrate as, as like we you know uh, we have wedding ceremonies same uh, yeah. divorce ceremony uh, i think celebrated in south korea that's Then fascinating uh, oh okay okay it's really fascinating i did not know about it yes. in india we hide from our parents like if the, someone has started drinking or smoking something people always try to hide from their parents but in south yes. korea they start itself with their family first Okay, that's such a stark difference between the two cultures, right? So yeah, it's fascinating. Um, yeah, I always love to know different things about different cultures. So it's amusing. It's good to know. Yeah. And is there anything about the Indian culture that you feel might come across as a cultural shock for non-Indians? any of our practices that seem a little too strong for you or something different mm, i have heard about the you know i don't think so it is good to share here or not but i feel comfortable in that uh, in northern part we you know hide when a girl start his uh, her periods but in yeah. southern part i have heard that they celebrate they have a big celebration on the first day like first time so mm-hmm. it is something like unique i have heard and it must be something unique for others too i guess mm yes have so you heard i heard about it yeah i've heard about it i've even seen a lot of families practice that in my neighborhood on the place where i come from it's not that big of a deal but i have seen this what you mentioned yes there is a lot of social stigma attached uh to menstruation and all of that but uh, i think yeah Uh, the practice is very from place to place yeah and this is something definitely very unique absolutely yeah, yeah. okay cool and um, when did you start getting so fascinated with uh, korean culture one thing i know is k dramas uh, is that the same reason why you started exploring the culture no not at all i was not aware about k dramas before starting my graduation in korean when i started learning this language only then i got to know about k dramas so it is just like uh, i have shared with many people it was just a random decision but one uh, thought that was clear in my mind that i want to do something different mm-hmm. and uh, culture always fascinates me if i talk about you know i know about uh, Haryana, Punjab, and Rajasthan. And mm-hmm. when I started my tradition, I was there in Jharkhand. And then I got to know more many things about Jharkhand itself. And from there, uh, we started learning about culture, history of South Korea. Okay. Oh, that's good. It's really nice. Every state has its own level of spice, and there's so much variety. So I think this is another stereotype related to our food habits. Hmm. So, what is your level of spice tolerance, Rajni? What is the spiciest thing that you've ever tried? 
I have tried uh, many things, but I cannot tolerate much spicy food. Mm -hmm. I like sweet, and uh, whatever I like, I I even I like very very much a food which I like very much. I still can have a little bit of that particular okay. uh, sweet or food. I think I, this is in my blood. I take limited amount of it. Uh, you can say moderation. You like having everything in moderate amounts, moderate quantity. Yeah, yeah. That's a good habit, right? I think that's good. It's uh, as long as you're not starving yourself and you're not over consuming your uh, any any food, then moderation is the best. Good for you. Yeah. So you have this inbuilt. You don't have to work too hard. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Very well. So thank you so much for all your answers. I can clearly see that you're feeling a little low. That uh, yes. I I can see that, but still uh, you participated in the session uh, so well. You answered all the questions to the best of your abilities. Uh, hats off to you. you. Okay. So really nice. So I don't want to be too critical. I think it would be cruel if I'm criticizing you on a day that you're not feeling well. So you answered everything really. Amazingly well. Um, the best thing that I liked about the way you speak is that if there is any question to which you don't know the answer right away, you don't shy away from taking time to think and answer. This is something that a lot of people should learn. They have this misconception that if somebody asks you a question, you have to start answering at the drop of a hat, like immediately without waiting. That's not true. You can take your time to think. An answer in a very calm and collected manner. Uh, that's how you carry on with conversations. So you have this quality in you. You have this calmness in the way you speak. You're very thoughtful about your answers. So I think that's worth some appreciation. I today I didn't perform well. I was my mind is getting you know blank. I'm not getting anything. <laughs> I think you were able to mask it pretty well. Like you answered pretty well. The energy levels I can understand. It's not possible to be in high spirits when you're ill, right? So please, after the session, uh, lie down. Just take some rest. Consider this a lazy weekend and do anything you want to make yourself feel better. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome. It's good to see that smile on your face at the end of the session. If you have any questions for me, any doubts whatsoever. Uh, please feel free to let me know. No, for now I don't have any doubts. No doubts. Okay. I I wanted to ask you. Um, are you planning to watch any movie this weekend at the beginning of the session? Uh, because there have been a lot of interesting releases this week, right? Uh, we have some great Hindi films. We have some great uh, Hollywood movies. So okay, all right. So I think you have no plans this time. No. No, I haven't thought yet, but let's see if I will not be able to take sessions. I will go mm -hmm. to watch. Uh, I have started watching dark series, but I am not watching nowadays because I don't get much free time. That's why. But if I feel like I'm not able to do anything else, I'll watch that again. Yeah. So dark is it the name of the series or is it the genre? Dark is the name of. The series is it in English or Korean? Yeah, in English. It is available in English, in English and you should watch that. Okay. Kind of a time travel. Okay, time travel. That's a fascinating concept. Mm -hmm, yes. Okay. Sometimes I wish I could just go back in time and undo a lot of things, or maybe do some things a bit better. So time travel. Oh, is no, something... Sure, in that dark series, they are traveling in past, in future. 33 years pass and then 33 years kind of like very confusing you have to be very you know but attentive attentive yes yes you have to be very attentive so even i face the same difficulty every time i'm watching a show that travels across time zones so not, right now they are in the present then suddenly they go to the past and then suddenly come back to the present so i have to you know pay attention to what is happening it's like if i miss one thing then it's like a domino effect. I will not understand anything that comes later. So, yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, I love watching 
stories related to time travel but this one aspect for me it's like a headache to be honest to keep a track of where they are so yeah, yeah. that's something if you should watch then dark and you will enjoy and uh, you will see like there is not just past and future they go uh, beyond 33 years uh, past and then after that the older generation like 33 year past and uh-huh. repetition of the generation again and again the same loop hole we okay. create and all that it is very confusing <laughs> okay then so i think you can continue watching that once you feel better otherwise your head will start reeling again if this yes, is how the yeah. story is so yes uh, take ample rest i will see you in the next class it was a pleasure having you in the session today take care bye 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 see you